Thank you for watching the weekly wrap up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Students throughout the district took a moment to pause and honor the lives tragically lost on the 22nd anniversary of the 9-11 terror attack. Nine eleven to me, it's it's a time to remember all the casualties that happened and the unfortunate events and all the lives that were lost. Life is very short, and those people did not know waking up that they were not going to be there that day and that they weren't going to see their family. And we're just here to pay our respects. <laughs> If we learn nothing else from this tragedy, we learn that life is short and there is no time for hate. Even the smallest act of service, the simplest kind of actness, is a way to honor those we lost. Today we were honoring the memory of 9-11. I think it's important to remember so that we can be safe and diligent for the future. Ring of the Bell represents the thousands of lives lost on September 11, 2001. Mark Gato, Kathleen O'Connor Fugani. The names of 343 Sandra New York firefighters Mariani. who tragically died that day were read as students from the SeaTech Fire Technology, Law Enforcement and Logistics and Distribution programs made their way up the stadium steps at Independence High School. Students climbed 2,200 steps, which is equivalent to 110 floors that the New York firefighters climbed to assist those trapped in the World Trade Center. Although these students were not alive when the 9-11 attacks took place, today's memorial stair climb was a symbolic way for them to connect with the sacrifices made by first responders on that day. It means a lot. Um, we got to feel how firefighters went up to save everybody from the tower, how they felt trying to get down. It's a sad experience. We lost so much firefighters, so much civilians, but we always remember them, won't forget the who we lost. Fire technology instructor Mark Maxwell says this annual event serves as a powerful reminder of the bravery and resilience shown by firefighters and other first responders. Welcome to the 24th annual Kern County College Night, where dreams soared and futures took flight. Right now you line yourself up right there. Inside Mechanics Bank Convention Center on Monday, students and their families got the chance to explore various opportunities to start planning for their future education and career paths. My plan is just to get information about the colleges because I know for sure I want to go out of state, but like I feel like a lot of us seniors don't know where to start. So just getting like the information and the foundation about like where to start, what we want to do, and like all the different colleges out there. I'm definitely thinking about Monterey Bay. I definitely want to experience that and get more information about that and I'm looking to go into psychology and those are some of my goals that I hope to happen. Representatives from over 100 colleges, universities, trade schools and the military attended the event to connect and engage with students and families offering valuable information. CSUB always wants to be a part of the community. We always want to be a, a, a focus and, and a, a place for our community to know that we're here, that we provide access to all of our community members, to parents and to students. We're excited to see students who are upcoming um, and the younger students getting ready and already thinking about college. So the younger they are, we love talking to them and letting them know that CSUB is here. We're hoping to promote our college for the students that are looking for small rural colleges, small classes, a place to grow, a place where they can call home. Uh, we have a lot to offer. We have the dorms, we have our sports, we have uh, we have clubs and a very new um, center for student center. So there's a lot of things to offer. It's a little gym in a rural area. Workshops were also held throughout the evening on various topics, including applying for college and financial aid. Kern County College Night is a collaborative effort between Kern County Superintendent of Schools, the Kern High School District, California State University, Bakersfield, and Bakersfield College. <laughs> It's goat time, I mean go time that is, for the Kern County Fair. 
FFA students from across the district came together on the KHSD school farm on ROC's campus last Saturday to wash, brush, walk, and practice showing their animals. We get these kids out here and there's kids from all different schools out here. We have Miramonte, West, Independence, Foothill, um, Golden Valley, Ridgeview. And they're able to kind of make friendships and develop those relationships amongst each other that they get to keep throughout high school. Preparing for the fair is no small feat. David Leone is showing his heifer and says it's been a year long commitment leading up to this day. A uh, typical day is feeding in the mornings and in the afternoons and then in the afternoons you wash your animal. Like I wash my heifer uh, once a day and yeah, and walking your animal at least like 15 to 20 minutes a day. While it is a big responsibility caring for an animal, FFA students say being part of the program has helped them meet new friends and has taught them important life skills. I think it's helped me a lot in my responsibility and my time management skills to make sure that I'm doing schoolwork but also here and to make sure when school is actually on to work on my time, do both, have good responsibility because at the end of the day, like you need to put you and then now you need to put your animal first. Kern County Fair kicks off on September 20th and runs through October 1st. We wish all of our students the best of luck. See you at the fair. In a heartwarming display of unity and community spirit, Del Oro High School's cheer team and Poder students joined Arvin FFA and South High Marka Dance Team, along with other volunteers, to remember and celebrate cancer fighters and survivors. Volunteers wrapped trees of honor with pink ribbons at the historic Union Cemetery last weekend. The trees of honor aim to increase cancer and healthcare awareness while honoring the lives of those who have lost their battle and those who continue to fight. Thank you for watching the weekly wrap up. To see more stories from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information Office YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.